Right guys, welcome back to video number 37. In this video, we're going to complete all the variables and functions that we've cre created in the last four videos. So now we have these two functions right here that we created and we sourced in from our functions.php page. Now let's use these to make our, con our main content dynamic. So pay attention really closely because I'm going to weigh out all of our options in our if-else statement right up here. And I'm going to refactor and consolidate this code as well. So follow along really closely. You might want to pause this video from time to time because I'm going to be creating new variables with old variables and getting rid of the stuff we already have. So, okay. So good luck following along. So first thing I want to do is I want to, we'll go ahead and call, let me look at this. We've got our if as statement, grab value. Okay, so I want to go ahead and not use this variable. Let's go ahead and use this variable that we use down here. Select table one equals get info by ID. But we're going to use this argument. Go ahead and create a new variable and apply it to our second table equals zero. And then if there is no value, table two, our pages table as well, we'll set it to null. And let's look at this really quick. Okay, so now let's deal with our pages table. If else is set equals get pages. Talk about our table one page. We'll set this to information to zero and select table one, table one equals null, all capitals. And let's go ahead and grab this variable right here. Two, and let's give it the function that we just created, get variables by ID. We'll set it equal to that, but we want to use this argument up here. Let's copy this. Let's look at that. And do we close this out? Yeah. Did we close our last one out? Nope. Close the last one out. Okay, now neither of these work. Let's go ahead and create table one. We'll set equal to one zero. So we'll utilize that string created. Give it an integer and we'll give table two. Nope, table two. The exact same thing as well. Semicolon, close it out. But then we also have our information. Table one, we'll set this to null. And now since we've used these, we can go ahead and get rid of them. Let's save this. We'll scroll down to our main content and we have that pulled through. Okay, so now let's save this and let's go and reload it. Okay, so now if we click on our first menu right here, perfect. Okay, look at that. See, we have a dynamic where it said main content before, which was just kind of our static HTML. Now when we click on one of our menus in our information field, this shows up, and this is looking pretty darn good. So hopefully you guys followed along. Again, you might want to pause this video right here and look at this. I went pretty fast. I didn't want to spend too much time, and we've already talked about most. Of, we've already talked about all of these things in detail, and I didn't want to, you know, create a 20-minute video to go through them all over again. So hopefully you guys are following along. Um, good luck with all this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.